probably will lose, but it's okay. You have to call. I'm gonna call. Okay, I have blackjack, and you have cool. queen jack. Brutal. First all in of the World Series of Poker, and here we go. Double up, 2023, WSOP style. What do we got there? There's a queen. Okay. So we need a king or a nine or king. Ha 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 ha! Yes. 2023, New Year, fresh. Let's go. Wee. <laughs> I work hard every motherfucking day, yeah, yeah, yeah. I work hard, I work hard every day, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But today is my day, it's my day. And no matter what they say, it's my day. La 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 la. Yeah. stretch and you get your bellies out okay let's go outside look at him run come on let's go go guy we got little ramps for him i'll explain that when we uh get started here all right it's a new day it's christmas morning we woke up early and out we go boys enjoy the day because you know we will all right i ain't even playing it really genuinely feels like christmas morning uh, and it's true because we wake up earlier. I just can't sleep. Um, we did our draft last night, which, uh, you know what? Why don't we just, why don't we just start out by showing you what happened last night? All right, let's do that. Let's show the people what happened at last night's draft. All right, here we are. Another year at the draft. We got the board up. We got Christian over here doing the work. We got the, these people showing up on time. We're starting at 7 o'clock. It's only 6.35. We're all here. Um, when I sit down in a minute, I'm going to give you a little rundown on our strategy for the day. What we're going to be doing is betting everything we have on Sean Deep. Okay? 100% because he's on a diet and we think that's really going to help him. But to it, I'm kidding. I'll tell you over there in the secret. All right. First things first, we got to get things organized. So what I do is I go around and grab a deck of cards. We're going to randomize the order for the throw out so that, uh, you know, it's not that huge a deal, but it can be, you know, potentially later on. All right. So we're fueling up. <laughs> it's World Series poker time. Let's get fat. Okay. I've got my spreadsheet open. Here's the deal. Targets, we have tiers, right? Tier one targets that we have, Alex Foxen, right up there. He's really good. Plays all the mix. He's going to play mix. I don't know if he's good, though. It doesn't matter. Other targets, we're going to go look. We're going back to the well with Dario San Martino. We're looking at Scott Seaver and going back to the well with Nick Shulman. We're looking at a lot of repeats. Also like Josh Arie, Brian Rast, Jeremy Osmus is on there, but I don't think we'll get him because other people like him too much. And then the ter third tier guys, I got uh, a few. I got like Adrian Mateos. I like the Cherish Andrews and Kristen Foxen. Bring the ladies out in that tier three. Tier four, we got some sleepers like Jordan Sperlin. I got Giorgio Sotoropoulos. I got Ben Lamb just because he's really good at PLO. And he says he's going to play a little. And then our tier fives. We got in our back pocket just in case. A little Jeremy Backer action. He wins every tournament at the win. We got E-Dog. We got uh, Wasp. Maybe I'll convince him to play some tournaments. So going in, it's kind of what we're looking at. Um, we're going to throw out names that we don't want in the get-go. In the, in the get Hope everybody spends all their money. And then we come in clean house. So we have 20 teams. Crazy. Whoa. Blew up the water. It's going to pay four spots, 250, 125, 75, and 50. Okay? So we can get started right away. First team bidding is team Sean D. I will go with our gracious hosts, Dan LeBron for 75. 75 for me. 85. 90 bucks. 92. You could. I was just kidding. 92. Fewer. $111 solid, Mike Norris. All right, they're bidding. Things are going incredibly well. If you can see the board once again, just like last year, I'm one of the last few teams that have picked anybody. I'm outside of Fox and Seaver, 
these are mostly people that I didn't have on my radar. So that's that bodes well. I'm gonna have to fight for probably the Dario Nick Schulman combo, followed by Josh Garrier and Brian Rast. If I can get that as a top four, be good. There's another twist to this year's World Series of Poker. See, I got myself a Corona. I got popcorners. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I got chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> we got. <laughs> Sean Deep, he's drinking lemon tea and water. <laughs> he hates it, I bet. Oh, God. You like oatmeal yet? He's still not into oatmeal. <laughs> we have an appearance from the GOAT. The GOAT, check out this tracksuit. Who paid for this tracksuit? Uh, Jason Calcanis. How much was it? Uh, $4,000. Okay, you can probably return it, right? If, you know, you can get it all. <laughs> looking good, looking good. All right, people, we're doing our thing. You can see the board. I don't know if you can see it too closely. We have two picks. Everybody's filling up their teams. We're still on two picks. One of the things I'm focused on right now is I want to have the chip lead because there's one target we have left, which you know, the Italian. You know. So, because right now, Team Lane and Chip Leader Coaching, they can both digit, right? So I'd like for them to spend. I just don't see a lot of big guys are going to spend them. But I'm going to throw them out if I have to. And then I'll go all in if I have to on Dario. And then I got some sleepers. So that'll be the plan. All right, we got our third player. Dario thing failed. And Mike Lang went nuts on me and made me go all in, and I couldn't bid. But now we went a different way, and I just want to make the apology formal to Mr. David Peters. You asked for one in the freaking no thing, and you got one because I'm drafting you. For 19 bucks, which is too much, but you better play a lot like you said you're going to, and let's kick some freaking ass. All right, that's going to be the, uh, the end of another fun draft. Strategy was derailed a little bit. See the final board, a couple teams still going. That's our team right here. Where is it? I'm doing... Uh -huh. What the heck? Oh, I can't see my own team. I'm, okay, anyway, it's here. Whatever. Um, so yeah, we had to go plan B. Um, I'm going to need Eric Wasserson to place Dario Sammartino. Because <laughs> that's what we were holding out for, was Dario. We didn't get him, so we had to go some more mid-stakes mid guys. And we ended up leaving $29 on the table, which is never something you're supposed to do. And we wouldn't have if we got Dario. But, hey, hats off to my Mike Lank. He took it from us, and uh, there was really no other big, chunky players available. So that's that. That's the draft. And I'm going to get some sleep. And, you know, whatever. We'll continue with the vlog stuff. <laughs> All right, so it's about 10 o'clock in the morning. We don't start till 2 p.m. Look at this guy. What are you doing? What are you, hey, Apollo. I don't know, he's looking at his butt. He's rolling on this. What dog, they love doing that. They love rolling their backs on things. Anyway, what the hell was I saying? What did I want to tell you about? It's my first day. It's like I got to get back on the hobby horse with the vlogging and stuff like that. What the heck? Oh, yeah. So this morning, wake up. We got a chat group. My team is like, we got the most camaraderie and chemistry we've ever had. It's like team golf. You got Nikki Shulman. He's an addict. Wasserson. We got Lamb. We got Josh. You know, we got the golf crew. But uh, what's really cool is, you know, like I said, you know, when people get drafted. They really get inspired to do well. And like, you know, for me, my team is highly dependent upon Eric Wasserson and which we call popcorn. If you all remember from the old vlogs and uh, Ben Lamb, if they show up and play, we have uh, a badass team. I got uh, several guys that are why well, we have team PLO too because we got Josh we got Ben Lamb we got Matthew Wantman who's very good and then in the low limit section you know we got Joey Weissman who's going to play everything and you know he's good I played with him that's the only reason I took him because I think he's really good and also Brian Kim another freaking killer who's been doing great and he said he's going to play all the 10ks and above so overall you know we got Nick Shulman the all-around athlete we got Josh Arie and Ben Lamb PLO and Josh is going to mix it up and some more stuff Wasserson who the fuck knows what this guy's going to do right he's the thing with him we just got to get his ass out of bed right i'll provide all the popcorn necessary and we'll get him started and grinding because he hasn't grinded in years maybe he's got too much money i don't know i don't know the deal but all right guys i'm just gonna chill for a little bit here this is a poor lizard i'm gonna try to help him. there's a lizard trying to get out and he doesn't know where to go i'm gonna i'm gonna, I'm gonna let me take care of this lizard because you know he seems like good peeps oh my god did he just jump how did, I, th I wish I would have filmed this. This was insane. He went straight up in the air. Anyway, okay, I'm chilling for a bit. This is my morning routine. We get a full bottle of water, 15, 20 minutes of sun, hang from a dead bar. Um, not doing the working out so much during the World Series, but would you, that, would you hear that? That was me smacking the belly. It's not so bad. We're doing okay.
Okay, so next up on the agenda, that's gonna be breakfast, right? We learn from the Huberman guy, the science guy, you know, don't drink coffee first thing when you wake up. So we're gonna wait 90 minutes before we do that. What I'm gonna make is I already got overnight oats in the fridge. I make like four of them, three of them or something like that. And then I add the fruit in the morning. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make, I fell in love with cooking uh, via COVID. Like when I had to go to Cabo and do it myself and I started to really enjoy it. And this is a very simple, very simple thing, but I, I take the overnight oats from the night before and then I'm gonna add a blueberry compote. Fancy schmancy word, but it just means blueberry smashed up with a little bit of lemon and some sugar if you want it. We will be doing ordering of food. So the fridge might, you know, I don't know. This is so, I, I became a mason jar guy. Look what happens when you get older. So this right here, I know it's not gonna look like much to you, right? It's just like, looks like a goop, whatever, but they're gonna put that. We're gonna grab the blueberries. We're gonna make ourselves compote here on the stove. All right, so basically it's quite simple. You just throw the berries in there, right? And then you don't need a lot of water. You need a little, because it's gonna break up. Just a little bit of water to get it started. Oh yeah, look at that there, eh? Oh, gonna mix these up. And it'll take about seven minutes total. You have a nice, yummy thing. If you wanna make it thicker eventually, you can add cornstarch. I don't care if it's thick, because I'm just putting it in the oats. There we got half a lemon, a couple stevias, and the oats. All right, as you can see, it's bubbling pretty good. We're gonna put a little stevia in there. Gonna mix that up. And then right before we finish, we're gonna squeeze the blueberry juice. We can do that right now, actually. There's the, oop, my phone. Okay, so then we're just gonna take the lemon. I'm gonna squeeze it up in here like that. It gives it a nice little something, something. Yep. It's like a cooking show. You guys didn't know you were tuning in to Chef Dean Eggs over here, making a little blueberry compote. And then when we're done, we're just gonna pour that right on top of that and mix it all together. And it's fucking delicious. It's like breakfast for, it's like dessert for breakfast. Okay, that works. All right, since it's early and we got a lot of time, I'll show you a little bit of the TV spread. Oh, we can't show the hockey because they go crazy. Oh my God, the NHL, they're gonna ban us. What do you want? You want Billy Rhodes? Is that what you want? You, you over there, or just you, you want him? Oh, isn't that bliss, right? Oh yeah, little belly rubs. Okay, so what we're gonna do while we have some time is we're gonna put together the ODB teams. We did the fantasy last year. We're gonna build four teams as we always do. That's team one. I'm gonna pick myself on these, of course. And then I get a bunch of smaller players and then um, we ended up with Scott and Nick. So that's team one. We'll, we'll mess around and we'll make three more. And of course, hey, 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 superstar bonus player, Jeremy Becker. I was gonna draft him, but the whole thing went different. So it is what it is. And this is gonna be team two. We started heavy with myself, Foxen, and we filled it in, as you can see. And again, we're sticking with bonus player, Jeremy Becker. All right, take a closer look at team three. We started with the cheapos, uh, and then, you know, went with uh, yeah, this at the end here. And of course, look at that, bonus player, Jeremy Becker. All right, team three in the books. All right, final. We do four every year, and this is going to be team four. We're going to call this team balance because we're, we went with just mid-range guys, right? You know, the lowest guy, seven, no no sleepers. And look at that right there, Jeremy Becker. We're, he's the bonus player du jour, so we're going with him, and that's going to be that. That's a lot of fun. If you guys want, 500 bucks probably too late for you by the time this vlog comes out, but uh, it's going to be chill time here. All right, so I told you what I tell you about the little puppies and the ramps. We got a ramp there, a ramp there. I move the table in here so that that little bugger can't jump, right? No more jumping because he slipped the disc and it was the scariest thing ever because I was walking him and he couldn't walk and he's been doing so much better since, right? You've been doing so much better. He wants to jump and play. He's all better now. He went to physical therapy and you too, you've just, you're just a, you can handle it. He had his teeth issue going on. So, so that's all here. This is new. What's not, what's missing if you've noticed or if you will notice right here. What do, you, what do you remember from last year that was here that should not have been here? Now there was a chair pointing backwards. The reason for that is these guys like to jump on it, so now they can't. Okay, there was a Christmas tree here for way too long. Got rid of the Christmas tree. That means run good 2023. Oh, also another thing missing is Amanda. <laughs> yeah, she, uh, every year she goes to visit her mom, which is great. Spend some time there. So she'll be, I don't know when she'll be home. Maybe next week, maybe this week, something like that. But uh, in the meantime... We got old trusty Patty Landis 
on uh, detail with puppies and all that sort of stuff and taking care of the room and everything like that. But she will be back. Um, maybe I'll get her to send some videos and stuff until then, but... Uh... Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Aneg's here. I will be on the vlogs next week, I think. It'll be next week. I'm in North Carolina right now visiting my mom. It is um, the perfect time of year for me to come here and just hang out with her. Daniel is always super busy getting ready for the series, getting prepared, which he should be doing so he can win all the bracelets. Um, and yeah, I usually just come here for like a month and just hang out with her around this time. So if you guys are missing me in the vlogs, which I'm sure you're not, I'll be back next week. Um, so Daniel can put the camera in my face when I'm sleeping and do all the things that annoy me for the vlogs. Um, and yeah, I'll be back. Good luck, babe. I love you. Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm just prepping up now. I'm getting the bags together. Any last minute things I need. I made an order to no butcher, which should be here any minute. Stocking up, get myself a sandwich, get myself some of the cold cuts, some of the salads, some of this, some of that. Put in the fridge down at the uh, RV. I'm ready. I don't know. I don't know. I'm like, never, you're never really ready, but I'm as ready as I'm going to be. So LFG. As for gear, this World Series of Poker, you see it here. This is one of my favorites, the Rocky Tour. It's got stuff on the back and whatever. Pinstra I like this one. It's a nice fit. Contendersclothing.com. That's my no butcher. One second over here. Let me answer the phone. Hello. Yeah, let them through, please. Bye. <laughs> you, you new kids. You probably wouldn't even know how to use this thing. Look at that. That's a phone right there, huh? Yeah. Okay. What's up, buddy? How you doing? What else we got? I'm like, oh yeah, I want to show you the shoes. I, I love Creative Rex. Creative Rex is my brand. These are some, well, why did they get scuffed up? They're brand new. What the hell? So here we go. The nice clean side. Look at that, huh? I love these bad boys. A little high top action. So that's going to be the gear. We'll do a driving video because then I'll talk about a little bit of poker because so far there's been none of that, right? Yeah. Hi, buddy. You're a good boy. All right. Let's do that. All right, one other thing we got going is a brand new car. We got, look at this, that's the steering wheel, man. It feels like a spaceship, this thing, it does it all. I mean, I don't know, it drives itself, you know, all the things. That's my wife's over there, off we go. All right, dri driving video number one. Now it's poker time, we're talking poker. We've got today, 2 p.m., we've got the $25,000 buy-in, six max. I'll just let the car go for that, it's fucking chill. It's a test. Okay. Um, yeah, $25,000 six max. Okay, I enjoy six max. I really like six max. I have some different ideas about six max in terms of adjustments. Let me see here. I don't think, I think with the new camera angle, look at that thing fell. There we go. Um, can you see the sign? I can't see the sign. Uh, there's a sign. You know, I always hit this light. We, we know about that. Okay, so 25K six max. What do we do adjustment wise? Well, here's the thing, right? When it's six max, what does that mean? It means people open wider, okay? So you have two options. You can say, okay, they open wider. So all three bit wider, okay? And now, you know, you three bit wider. And the guy says, well, actually four bit wider because you're three bit wider. Okay, and now this guy's four bit and wider so you can cat jam, ace four suit it, do the thing, whatever the cat jam thing people do. So that's the thing, that's one way to go, right? Agro, agro, agro. The other option is to see some flops. Which one do you think I'm gonna choose? Right, so if people are opening wider, it means, you know, a wide, wider ranges match up pretty well against them, right? So I tend to still, I, I play more hands for sure, and I definitely play more aggressive, but not to the extreme I see some people go. They see six-handed, they think that every ace three offsuit is like, gotta get it in for four bets and stuff like that. That's not how we're gonna play, especially when we're deep. When we're deep, we will be taking, you know, more flops in position, of course, defending our blinds, blah, 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 all that stuff. But yeah, one small thing about six max, again, you have to play more hands because you're, you know, the big blind Annie, it comes around really quickly. But at the same time, the question is, how do you play these hands? And a lot of people, I think, go to this extreme aggro mode, which, hey, if that's your, if that's your vibe, that's your bag, that's your thing, you know, you're in a Damo style, go for it, bro. Old Dean Eggs, small ball it up. Off to Paris we go. I almost said Rio, right? But it's been a couple years now, we remember. Roll up to the spot, feeling real good. Think you gonna talk to you better, not my homies real hood. They say logic, why you do that, I don't know. Back to it, World Series of Poker, a couple adjustments. I brought myself a little air mattress. It's a little more comfy than a couch. Oh, yeah, I got blankets, we're good. We got Christian here, as always. We got cabinets, we got uh, fridge stocked. We got all the things we're gonna need. We got cool little logos. He's gonna put up some GG Poker logos, I'm sure, for the uh, little bits we do. But this is gonna be it, day one. Mm-hmm. No, 
don't know Yeah, they used to be like, who that? I don't know, I don't know Now they know my name wherever I go Used to think that's what I wanted, but now I just don't know No, I can't put that knock if you bucking back Yeah, I've been working, but I ain't got nothing back Tell me the dilly now, hold up, wait, really now All of that you been talking just silly now It's as quick as you rise Just as quick as you could fall Oh no. Here, we have to test, test out these chairs Because these look no, They look like really bad chairs to me Let's see. Yeah, these are never going to work I'll lose my mind in this chair So, I'm going to have to get one of them basic Old school chairs in the corner These, no No on the fancy schmancy Series of poker and Best of luck to everyone I, I didn't film it because, you know, whatever I wanted to pay attention to But we just did a very beautiful tribute to Doyle Brunson the legend is very nice. Took a moment of silence, and now we're gonna play some poker. The crowd is here. The crowd is small to start, but that's always the case with these things. People don't show up on time for the most part. I think we'll have what one, about five, six tables, something like that to start. Six handed, and then you know people will trickle in as uh, as they as they tend to do. And right now I'm playing against this guy. Just heads up. Are we heads up? So yeah. We're doing this is a heads up tournament, right? Well, I mean, yeah. Good with it. Hey, the dolphin trainer's back. Look. <laughs> yeah, he's a dolphin trainer. I don't know if you know the story, but if you don't, no, you're out of luck. All right, so the field is playing. We're not yet because it's just me and Dylan, and the World Series rule is you must have at least three players at the table to start. So a couple of these tables, we're waiting for the stragglers. Um, yeah, I, I know I, I, always, I always like being dealt in the very first hand, but this was out of my control. There's nothing I could do here, right? So... Uh, you know, whatever. It's not gonna have a huge impact, but it's World Series of Poker, man. I'm here to play, not stand around. LFG. All right, table starting to fill up. We got some players here. We got Dylan Lindy. We got my man here. He brought a broken watch. Broken watch. Where's there's not even a band on that thing? Huh? None of that GTO stuff. They made an announcement. No GTO, bro. You gotta just gamble. Purely. A timekeeping piece. Okay. Yeah, it's nice though. What is that Casio? Yeah, it's Casio. It's there you go. That's what's up. Old school. Okay. All right, we're gonna go to break. We got about 75, 78,000. We were down to less than 40, and we start with 150. And I'm gonna explain to you exactly how that happened. We're gonna do a whole bunch of hand breakdowns in the steam room. All right, we don't have the decor, the fun stuff up here yet, but we're gonna get there. Lots to get through, so we're gonna try to do this as quickly as I can. All right, early on, the blinds, for some reason, are 1,000, 1,000, rather than five and one, whatever. So uh, Dylan Lindy, we're only playing three-handed. Dylan Lindy, a pro, Archer Matarosian, another superstar, you know, no-limit pro. Lindy raises to 3K from the button. I'm in a big blind with the seven, eight of diamonds, and I mix here, I sometimes three-bet this, but I, I elect to uh, just call with the seven, eight of diamonds. Great hand to take a flop with. Flop is now queen, eight, four, two diamonds and one spade. I check, he goes ahead and bets 2,000, which is quarter pot. I elect to check raise small. Now, part of me check raising small is I don't care if he floats. I'm not really trying to get him off of a float. And if I was, I was, you know, make a bigger raise. But I'm thinking, I don't, I have such a monster hand that I don't, I, I don't care if he calls with ace, ace 10 or whatever. Come on in, you know, I'm gonna barrel on a lot of cards. To my surprise, he re-raises to 18,000. Now that's a very strange thing to do there. and. There's not a lot of hands that do that. Like if you run this in a solver, there's a, there's a couple bluffs that are there. Sets of fours, maybe. I block three eights, maybe set of queens, possibly some flush draws, some gut shots, some different things like that. But overall, you just don't see that very often after a check raise. It's very usually just going to be a call. So surprised, but it's 11K more to me. We're not going nowhere. Well, the turn is the ace of clubs. I check, he bets 30,000. Now, not getting the right price, right? Just not. So we fold and he shows me the three of spades. I'm like, what the? And then he, he also had the ace of spades. So he, he made uh, the play with one of those hands that is actually a good bluff candidate. And I'll tell you why. So he has the backdoor spade draw, he has ace high, and he unblocks all the straight draws that I might be check raising with. Like if I had jack 10, 9, 10, um, 6, 7, 5, 6, like a lot of those hands that I would check raise, he doesn't block any of those. So it's actually probably a very good candidate. He's a smart guy. I'm sure it made sense. We fold the hand. Okay, next up. This one's against Arthur Martirosian. He raises the button at 1-1 still to 3,000. I'm in the small blind. I have the ace of spades and jack of hearts. And I mix here as well. Um, I usually three bet, but I, I, I flat at a smaller rate. And I decided to flat, part of what we talked about earlier. Flop is jack three deuce rainbow. Spade, heart, club. Spade, heart, diamond, sorry. Um, I check. 
He goes with a large size here. He bets 5,500. That's a flop that's going to help be better for his range, generally speaking. So what do we do with Ace-Jack here? Normally, what we do is we call. That is the, the primary play. We chose here against this player who I felt like might be sticky and might float and we might get some, you know, a couple of streets of value against the worst Jack. Um, and I'm, I'm not folding here at any point, really. So I check raise to 18,000. He does float. He makes the call. The turn is a seven of spades. Again, I blocked the ace of spades. Not really all that relevant, but it is what it is. Um, it saves me maybe on some rivers, but I bet 30,000, he throws it away. Now, for the big one. This is where, this is where, this is, this is the tough one. This was the tough one, the tough convo. Uh, small blind at 1-1. One, one. It's a new player who joined us. Raises to 4,000 from the small. It makes it 4X. I three bet with ace of clubs, king of spades to 16,000. Pretty large, 16X, right? He calls, flops queen, deuce, deuce, one heart, one spade, one club. He checks, I'm betting here, uh, 10,000, right? Close to about third pot or whatever. He calls, which I expect him to do a lot. Turn is a nine of clubs. So now there's you know two clubs on board. He checks, I decide here, I have two choices. I can try to get him off a pocket pair or I can check back, try to you know um, hit my hand. Uh, I elect to just slow down. I was a little bit worried about the queen too. And I check back. River is... Bingo, the king of clubs. So we have the ace of clubs. We block the nut flush. We've also got ace king. He checks uh, something like 50, a little over 50,000 in there. And I go ahead and bet 32,000. He thinks for a bit, uses a time bank. Then before he uses the second one, he raises me to 80,000. Okay, so here's the problem with my situation, okay? Theoretically, I have to call. There's no question. It's just a theoretical call, and I can explain why, right? If you think about the way that he would configure his bluffs, what are the bluffs? His bluffs are maybe like if he had jacks or tens with a club. So there's a total of six combinations of that being possible, let's say. He can't have the ace of clubs. We know he doesn't have enough flush. I don't think he's raising me with ace king or king queen. I think he's, that's a little on the thinner side. So I expect his value to be what? So I said there's about six bluffs. What is his value? Queen jack of clubs, queen ten of clubs, maybe jack ten of clubs peeled. Uh, pocket nines, right? That makes about seven combos total of possible hands. So there's seven and six. I'm getting a good price. Um, in hindsight, you know, I think I probably could have folded this one, but you know, and if I didn't have the ace of clubs, I would have folded it, but I like to make the call and see the bad news. He had the pocket nines. So we got short to about 30 something, but we've clawed our way back at a new table to 78 or so. And now it's time to make a coffee. See, I'm talking really fast. Cause I, I don't want to, you know, I don't want, I, I want to get the stuff out right? Hand breakdowns. That's for you guys, the poker people. Ah, you don't want to see me freaking making blueberry compote and whatever else. You want to hear about the poker. There you go. All right. You see that board right there? It doesn't really matter because in his honor right there, huh? In his honor, in his honor. Let's go. Bring me that money. Did you fold queens, kings? You had aces? Kings. <laughs> we got them. Sweet. <laughs> All right, this gentleman's trying to steal my blind from the button, and we don't have much money left, so we put it in. He calls, we beat him. That's how it works. 28,000, yeah. You probably will lose, but it's okay. You have to call. I'm gonna call. Okay, I have blackjack, and you have Four. queen jack. Brutal. First all in of the World Series of Poker, and here we go, double up, 2023. WSOP style. What do we got there? There's a queen, okay. So we need a king or a nine or... King. <laughs> yes. 2023. New year. Fresh. Let's go. Wee. <laughs> he takes it with a, like a champ. Look at that, right? Like a professional. His mental game is on point. He's not even frazzled right now, right? Do it. Do what you got to do. There we go. He says I can go pee-pee dance. We got 67,000. End level four. We're going to play eight levels total. Not a ton happened there. You know, this is a fast-paced tournament. You only start with 150 bigs. Um, right now, the average is going to be 40, 50 ish, you know, whatever. I don't know. Hey, what's up, Yuri? And we got, uh, what do we got? 67. Blinds will be two and 4,000. Not worried. Feeling comfortable. On bullet one, we always have the backup if necessary. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm enjoying it, man. Having a blast. So I'm going to be doing some giveaways all summer, but you can't win unless you're a subscriber. So please do me a favor. Click the subscribe button down below. He knows binding. it's binding. You know what this? It's binding. If I grab the camera, I'm all in. You raise 15, I'm all in for whatever I got. All in. Binding. <laughs>
What do you mean annoying? What do you, I have the best hand. Obviously. You do have the best hand. You do have the best hand. Oh, you don't even call? No. I didn't even look. Look. Oh, no, I lost him. Of course I got you. You know me. Bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> Pretty deep, where you been? I have seven Where's the hummus? I have seven hummus? You didn't bring the hummus. You know my wife drives me crazy because she doesn't like that I say hummus. Why? Because I, I might what have a, I'll, say? I'll say something in English and then I'll say, yeah, baby, can you go get some uh, hummus from the store? And she's like, you speak normal English and then you say hummus. Because that's the right way to say it. It's yeah. hummus. Hummus, hummus. What are you going to call it? Hummus? Hummus? That sounds good too. Hummus is the way. Hummus, yeah. Ah, mining. Okay, here we are. All right, situation a little bleak right here. There's our big blind, Annie. There's what we got left. There's one big blind, two big blinds, three big blinds, and a little bit. Which means uh, you're not going to be robbing me. Anybody. This is a warning. This is a warning to the table. You will not be robbing me. Okay, cards in play. Shit. All right, Freddy's folding. He went all in. What do you got there? That's good for now. I have an ace too, unfortunately, but all I need is a six. This is all, all in number two, WSOP 2023. Anybody have a six? No? All right, put one on the flop or the turn or I'll take a chop. Six, baby doll. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jack. I shot it. I celebrated way too early there, didn't I? Oh, ha! Oh baby, that's two and zero. Oh. Let's go, WSOP 2023. Still alive. Look at this. All right. Phew. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Okay, so we're going to the last break of the night. Good news, we're still there on first bullet. We got 40k. The blinds will be three and six. Um, because we have a rebuy, you know, you you would think I'd just be like punting it off, but I'm not. I'm trying. I've been grinding the whole time. It's most of the tournament I have between like 30 and 80k. Just uh, haven't really got a lot going. That's okay. We're in it to win it. And we've always got that backup plan here in the last two hours. There's two more hours of late reg. So obviously we're gonna get our chips in at some point. We double, we're good. If not, we got more anyway. It's my day. And no matter what they say, it's my day. La, 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 la. Yeah. That's the board. We got a three-way all in. This gentleman over here with the camera. This guy over here. Yours truly. We're all in the big line. We got that hand. All right, off to the river we go. We've got the straight draw. Mr. Rampage doesn't, and he's filming me. I'm filming him. Let's film the board. Here we go. We got action. Let's go. Six or a jack. Okay, that was close. All right, we're two and one in the all-ins. We'll be right back, gentlemen, with more chips. Okay? Shortly. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks. All right, I raised the button over here. This gentleman decided to go all in, and I'm not afraid, even though this is my last bullet, I'm not folding against that crazy dolphin trainer. Paul. Tom. Aces. Yeah? <laughs> He's like ace queen. That's good enough. King queen suited. Okay. I thought you were going to have worse than that. But, all right, now we need to get lucky once again. Okay. It's a king. That's a good start. I win every all in this year. It's crazy. Three and one. Baby doll. Let's go. <laughs> Teach him for shoving on me with ace queen. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't want to. I got aces against Ben Yu. He has kings. And you've only got one suit covered. <laughs> Nobody ever beats someone with a selfie stick. <laughs> Chop it up. All right. All in is clear. Well played. <laughs> yeah, such a such a great play. Huh? That takes so much skill. Aces against kings. All right, we are rocking. We are rolling. We got chippies all of a sudden. Got a good button. Way more fun than grinding six bigs. Call. Good luck, all right, we got kings against tens. Big pot here. Three hundred something. We got the kings hold. Here. I got it. A couple of nines. Another nine. All right, I have here we the go. Mm -hmm. That's it for the night, y'all. $610,000. Got to be happy with that, considering where we were. Yes, it's on a rebuy, but yes, we're in good position to make a deep run right now. We'll start with 61 bigs tomorrow. That's heaps. I don't know what the average is, but we've lost over half the field, I think. Um, and there'll be some people who may at last minute rage. We're gonna get like 200 players for a $25,000 buy-in, six max, no limit. I gotta say, today felt very relaxed and comfortable. Hey, how you doing? Thanks. Um, I felt very just relaxed, nothing crazy intense, nothing pressured, just easy going. Maybe that helps when you win all the all-ins.
<laughs> certainly makes you feel a lot better. But no, definitely ran well today um, on the second bullet. First bullet was kind of meh, whatever. But I'm very happy with it. You know, day one in the books, just getting my feet wet in terms of, you know, if it, I started to get tired that last hour. It's way too late for a coffee. Good news is only eight levels, so no need for it. You know, we're not playing till two in the morning. Everyone I've spoken to loves the new format with the late events finishing at around 11 rather than two. So you can live somewhat a normal life. If you got kids, if you wake up, you know, you do the market, you do your business, you know, you, know, you can. So that's did good, 610K. 610k i got my slip and that's that y'all another year world series of poker 2023 and yours truly bagging up on to day two see y'all tomorrow